I'm Dennis Kamari. Today it's the Western Bulldogs versus the Bombers. Football back at the MCG. Terrific weather for finals footy. Matthew Richardson is my comrade in the box for this match. Welcome, Richo. Hi, Dennis. Richo, there are more benefits to winning a premiership than just etching your name in the record books. The premiership is a huge draw. Members come back to the fold and sponsors line up to sign new deals. Having a flag can draw players to a club as well. The Western Bulldogs run on. Banners ready for the players. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. The battles look great as the players get set to run through them. You couldn't orchestrate a more perfect setting for this year's grand final. The crowd is very, very happy. Grand finals don't come around too often for most players. Tell us what it means to be out there today. Well, look, Dennis, everything they have done was a lead up to this very moment. Every extra lap run at training, every extra push up, studying game tapes over and over. It's been their life pursuit for the last 12 months. It's all about winning grand finals. And after today, some may never get a crack at it. So you've got to make the most of it. For others, they face going away and doing the hard work all over again. This match is everything. We have the toss of the coin. The bomb is kicking to the left of screen. The opening siren is moments away and you can feel the excitement building. Here's the first bounce of the grand final. This is the most pressure-filled bounce of the entire season. Definitely palmed to advantage. Liberatore on the ball at the moment. Bumps the pigskin. He runs for home. Liberatore slams one on the boot for goal. Just fell through. Just when they needed it most. The Western Bulldogs get a goal. All is in readiness. Here we go. Bill Chambers hits it. He's got the footy in his hands. Dalhouse gets the ball. Bontem Pelly slams it on the boot. Sends the Sean on its way. Takes his time as he lines up the goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Kicks. Dalhouse has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. Bill Chambers chucks the ball away. Ruffhead there to mop it up. He grabs it on the run. He's heading for home. He kicks it down the barrel straight. That's number two. Important kick here. And he's got it. Umpire has the ball ready for the center bounce. Ruffhead knocks it down the field. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Sends it on its way. Myers with an easy mark. Myers has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. Watson with the kick. Wood hand passes the ball. Approaching the goals now. Almost the world's up to that kick. Can you help me out, Richard? That was one of the worst shots at goal I've ever seen. He may just play under himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment.
got it. Swords out of the pack and takes a ripper. He's got eyes like a pterodactyl with contact lenses. Interception. He grabs it on the run. Lewenberger chucks the ball away. Handballs from the tackle. Roberts intercepts the bouncing ball. Stanton looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. The Bombers haven't had many options to kick into, which resulted in far too many pack contests. They need to start running for each other and create him some space out there. Watson told to play on. Picked up the ball, is in his possession. Slips the handball to Liberatore. Kicks. Great man. Opportunity for Ruffhead. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Great grab. Let's have the shot of goal is as good as the delivery. Distance could be the problem. Well, if you could hand pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. Cranberry collects. Hurley has the ball. He gets the hand pass. McDonald to the Woody. Boots it and has space for an easy mark. Nothing presenting. He fires it to an empty space. Liberatore throws it. Clear as day. Merritt slams it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Watson, it's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Wood with the kick. That's a nice, strong mark. He slams that on the boot. Rough head. Passes it. Liberatore. Approaching home now. Boy, with the mark. Boyd throws it, clear as day. The umpire telling him to play on now. Great grab. Stanton has the passion for this game, and that shines through every time he plays. He slams that on the boot. He takes a strong mark. He boots it. Pepe takes a contested mark. He boots it. He picks it up. Intercepted. Gains possession. We get a ball up on the wing. Ruffhead nicely outclassing Bill Chambers. Bird has him for holding the ball. Gets boot to high. Great mark. Howard just gauging which way that wind is going. Too far out to score, surely. Over the top of the foul. Picks it. That was all for Liberatore. Liberatore has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Nice accurate handballing. He almost anticipated just where the pass was going and got there first. He slams that on the boot. That's a nice strong mark. Chips it down towards half forward. Cloak claims it. Good as this guy is the most reliable kick for goal in the side. Liberatore on the ball at the moment. To be generous, he would say he was just right of the mark with that shot. The Bulldogs fight 14. A little quick option here. A pinpoint pass is the key. Lewenberger made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. A lot of possessions for him. Dalhouse did well then. The Bulldogs by 20 points. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. The Bulldogs are losing the clearances and they are sitting a kick behind the play and are able to stream forward in numbers and it's working well for them. Bonton Kelly knocks it through for a point. The Bulldogs lead Essendon. Teammates scrambling to make a lead. He takes control of the loose ball. Liberatore handballs it to the open paddock. Lewenberger racking up the possessions. Ruffhead is getting the ball again and again. Richo, your thoughts on the first quarter. The Western Bulldogs leading into the break. That has to give them some confidence. What did you make of the first term, Richo? Essendon need to give it their all. There's no more chances after this. Richo has some stats for us now. Neither team are giving an inch in the terms of marking. The Western Bulldogs gone 14 and the Bombers gone 11.
the Bulldogs way out in front of the Bombers with the possessions 65% next to their name. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo. Second quarter, here we go. This quarter will tell us a lot about how this game is going to shape up. He gets tackled as he hands it off. And down. There's a guy down. We need a medic. Richo, can you tell us more on that? Bell Chambers will see no further action after that injury. Might have to kick it to himself. A great effort. Myers getting into position for the kick. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. Nice mark there. Slams it on the boot. Good mark by Quantum Pelly. But the Bulldogs' big men are not pulling down many marks inside the 50, with most of the, the Western Bulldogs' scoring opportunities coming from shots on the run. Good mark. Watson, box to play on. Interception. Murphy with handball. Nice drop punt. An easy interception for Ruffin. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Gets the ball free. Nicely intercepted by Clark. Dishes it off to the running player. Curley takes advantage. What's up there? The Western Bulldogs in front. Looks like he'll go out wide. Solid catch. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Watson with the catch. Watson has got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. Puts boot to ball. He marks the ball. Sending it on its way. McRae with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. Gets boot to high. Gathered by Pippen, finding the running player. Liberatore runs in. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. The Western Bulldogs lead the Bombers 28 to 1. All is in readiness. Umpire bounces the ball. Ruffhead knocks it down the field. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. Puts the head down as he runs in. Bonton Pelly picks up the loose ball. With the ball now. He gains possession. He picks up the loose ball. Gains possession. Boyd is starting to get a lot of the football. He gets his hands on the footy. Bickin keeps it alive with a foot. He collects the loose ball, finding the running player. Ruffhead bumped off the ball. Moves it quickly by hand. Lewenberg again, Richard. Yep, Dennis, he's a class act. He gets another possession. Gets the kick off as he's taken down by Darhouse. Watson, I've got no idea how he managed to get that out. Handballs from the tackle. All of a sudden, the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Fluenberger. Brown will need to give his feet a pep talk for this kick. Going for goal number one. Picked up by Johannesson. Kolyuk has the ball. Hits the running man. The ball mopped up. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Watson just manages to sink it. Essendon has still a chance, given that this season we've seen teams blow more leads than Inspector Clouseau. Great bounce. Definitely palmed to advantage. Brown gathers, finding the running player. Gets a handball away. He doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. In fact, it's fair to say he doesn't know the meaning of a lot of words. He receives the handball. Bumps the pigskin. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Like going for number one. That was a poor kick, wasn't it, Richard? I'm too sure about that, Dennis. The Bulldogs in front. Pelic to bring it in. McCray picks it up. He's racking up possessions. He has the ball. Ruffhead going for number one. To be generous, he'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. Far too many points racked up for just one match. It's time to roll the dice out there and see how the game might open up. Yes, the Bombers might get hurt on the rebound, but I think more scoring opportunities will present themselves. Rough 
prepared and takes the mark. He's got a hold of that one. Lewenberger picks up the loose ball. Dalhouse with the ball. Liberatore handballs it. He's got the ball out even when being tackled. Heppel picks up the ball. He hand passes it. He cuts the ball off. Good hand skills there. He's approaching the goals now. Cloak passes it. Smith has a kick. Only a goal. The Bulldogs just cannot get a goal. The Bulldogs out in front over Essendon. Well, fortune favours the brave. It's time Essendon stopped playing safe with their possession and took the game on. Heppel takes the mark. He kicks the ball. That's a mark. Watson puts his boot on it. Myers marks the ball. He slams that on the boot. Fontenpelli with the catch. Shoots off the handball. Picks it across the ground. A solid mark from Fermi. Goes by hand. Too slow with the handball. He's racking up possessions. That tackle clearly above the shoulders. Picture perfect drop punt. Catch by Watson. Moves it quickly by hand. Sharing his carry. And down. As a guy down, we need a medic. I think the doctor will be taking a close look at that one. He picks up the loose ball. Boyd gathers. The loose ball picked up by Redman. He picks it up. The ball in the hands of Murphy. Now that's just giving the ball away. Shouldn't be too long in this half now. Morris comes in like a wrecking ball. Hawking gathers. Bonton Pelly gets the ball. Takes possession. Tackle, but gets the handball off. Well, it's half time. What have you got to say, Richard? The seeds of belief will be creeping into the minds of the Bulldogs that if they can maintain their current performance, they'll be walking away with the silverware today. With the quick hands. Let's have a look at the stats. If you look at the statistics, the Bombers looks the goods. Unfortunately, they're not so good looking on the scoreboard. Uh, that's a unique spin on things, Richard. Two quarters down and only two to go. Here's the siren to start the second half. It's the final half of the year and I can't wait. They've conceded possession. Passed by Liberatore. Now he wants it back. And he's heading for home. Marks. Boyd put a chance if he keeps a cool head. Massive screamer from Goddard. Loves the pass. Picture perfect drop punt. And great mark. The great shoots. A mark by Pokemon to the middle. Sends it on its way. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That is the peg. When you look at the set shots of goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. But the bombers forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Liberatore has the football's perfect kick. The Western Bulldogs by five goals. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Roughhead taps, takes possession. Liberatore beats the hand pass out. He's running hot, Richard. Yep, Dennis, he's a class act. Cloak is an absolute leather magnet. And for those who think there's no such thing, spare a for my wife and my wife. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Big thumb from Blumenberger. Shoots off the handball. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Picked up the ball. McDonald to the Woody. Picks it up. Sweeping handball. Badly again, Richard. He's been outstanding all match, Dan. Ruffhead going for number one. Give him a round for now. Richard Brown every time. A real letdown there, Dan. Far too many points racked up for just one match. Might have to kick it to himself. Watson claims it. When you look at the set shots of goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. But the Bombers forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Hits the running man. Bumped by Gleason. Sweeping handball. Bumps the pigskin. Strong mark by Murphy. 
jams it on the boot. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Choose to kick it. He seems to have the ball on his screen, Richard. I can't believe it, Dennis. He just keeps surprising us up here in the commentary box. Bontem Pelly is an absolute ball magnet. Merritt under the ball. Hits the running man. It's like he has the ball on his string. Has it now. He's got the football now. He's racking up possessions. Nice kick. Smith making the lead bigger. The Western Bulldogs with the ascendancy over Essendon, leading the match 50 to 7. Umpire bounces the ball. Lewenberg, nicely outclassing Roughhead, takes possession. Brown with the running catch. He gets another possession. Advantage, superb handball. A favorable bounce. Downhouse shoots. Kicks it off the goal and misses. Not many players can make it from that distance. Looks a quick option here. A pinpoint pass is the key. Bird has it. Essendon haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. Merritt is bumped off the ball. He kicks the ball. McCraig with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Liberatore has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Grabs the footy with the ball now. But it comes in like a wrecking ball. Quick hands find the running player. Gets the loose ball. Dalhouse on the ball at the moment. A solid mark from Wallace. The Western Bulldogs could just been so dominant in the marking contest and it's given them the perfect platform to kick a winning score. It's a mark. Ruckhead lining up with the goals. Puts boot to ball. He gets his hands on the footy. Lewenberger is an absolute leather magnet. And for those who think there's no such thing, spare a thought for my wife and my wife. Watson delivers a nice bump for Bontem Pelly. Merritt sends the ball on its way. Caught. He chooses to play on. Boots it. Collected by Liberatore. A short handball. Oh, that's a nice long kick. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Dalhouse just has hands that are magical. He just takes the hook so cleanly. Bontem Pelly puts his boot on it. He gets it under pressure. Sending it on its way. Bird with the catch. He slams that on the boot. He marks the ball. Watson picks it. Nice hands. Bontem Pelly sends the ball on its way. Hand pass by Lewenberger. Jams it on the boot now. He gets above the crowd. Watson is really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. Murphy, just the better man in that contest. A good contested mark there. Liberatore with the kick. Roughhead gets the loose ball. Boy goes for goal. Boy has got it. The Western Bulldogs leads by 50. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Lewenberger nicely outclassing Roughhead. Goddard plays the tackle and the ball comes loose. Liberatore gives the ball to the man on the run. That was an interesting term right there. Your thoughts, Richard? It's always great to have the lead at the grand final at the break. It makes the rest of the game so much easier. Let's go to Richard now and take a look at the stats. Essendon stats not reflecting their poor effort on the scoreboard. Much appreciated, Richard. Only one term to go now. Both teams will be giving it their all in the last term of the season. Liberatore with the tackle. He hand passes the ball. Bill Chambers just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the peg. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Watson with the kick. Nice mark there. Bonton Pelly sends the ball on its way. Jams it on the boot. 
Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Nothing for the chance if he keeps a cool head. Watson has it. When you look at the set shots of goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. If Essendon forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50, they just need to be given a shot. The Western Bulldogs out in front over Essendon. Need someone to break out. He's ready to bring it back into play. A great effort. Bill Chambers boots it. Great mark over the pack. Watson sends the ball on its way. Takes that one strongly. Works it across the ground. The mark is taken by Liberatore. Kicks. Solid catch. Rough head. He's got an amazing vertical leap. Gee, a long kick there. McRae with a strong mark. McRae with the shot. Lewenberger gets the loose ball. The ball is scooped up. Whack. Not that way. He gathers the loose ball. Bill Chambers hand passes. Stanton handing it back now. Picture perfect drop punt. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Bumps the big skin. Caught by Miller. Handballs. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Look, the Western Bulldogs could manage to wrap up a big number of marks. It's easy to see why they're leading this match. He kicks the ball. A great mark under pressure. We have a free kick. He slams that on the boot. Strong mark there. Kicks beyond the wing. Nice contested mark by Pippen. A low stabbing kick. Dalhouse looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Kicks it across the ground. Heppel may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Bell Chambers, he's just a real workhorse in the rough, and I reckon his teammates really appreciate his uncomplicated approach to the game. That's a nice, strong mark. Watson, Pam passes the ball. Rough head, gathers the ball. Hits the running man. Nice interception. Chips it down towards half forward. He has no trouble grabbing that one. Brown will need to give his feet a pep talk for this kick. Sneaks the ball away in time. Dalhouse with the pickup. He gets the hand pass. Boots it. Good mark by Smith. The dominance we're seeing from the Bulldogs at the moment has come mostly from their running goals. They just haven't been able to get up to the contest and take a mark inside 450. Liberatore lining up with the goals. Liberatore with the shot, it's three for a point. They may have no option but to kick it long up the middle right here. Bill Chambers was surrounded, he needed to mark it, and he did. Slams it on the boot. Watson takes the mark. Hastily kicked. Bontempelli catches. He kicks the ball. McRae with good strong hands. Boots it. Cloak gets the upper hand. Handballs. Smith going for number two. It's hit the post. Oh, to the home. That could be the final nail in the coffin. The disposal efficiency has been fantastic, but Essendon need to begin taking more gambles if they're going to cause some damage on the scoreboard. Good mark. Myers kicks it. Bird having no trouble taking that one. Quick hands finding the running player. Fontampelli with the kick. It's a mark. Bill Chambers kicks. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. A desperate kick there. Hands like dinner plates. 
booted by Miller. A good mark under the circumstances. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. And the mark will be paid. Jams it on the boot. Bird got under it. Penetrating hand pass. There's the siren, and it's all over for another year. The winners, the Bulldogs. I don't know who's happy at the moment, the players, the coach, or the fans. Listen to the roar of that crowd. What a relief. The season's over for another year, and these guys are premiers. Disappointment for the loser. Concerns today, they were overwhelmed by a clearly superior team. Dennis, this was a really disappointing display by Fessenden. Well, I enjoyed the match, Richo. How about you? A real sloppy game with no exciting moments. Thanks, Richo. The ground belongs to them right now. There's no opposition as they take their moment to thank the fans. <laughs> they worked hard and now it's time to celebrate. This is the moment when the players really get to revel in the glory of a grand final victory. What a sight. Fantastic effort. They can soak up this moment knowing they're in the history books as champions. That's all from us. Thanks for joining us and thank you, Richard. See you again next time. Well, thanks for having me. That's all we have time for. We'll see you next time.